Parklands Primary School obtained the radioactive learning system in March 2009 and it has since been used virtually every day to produce live podcasts, compose jingles, make announcements and to broadcast music throughout the school. The school has established a weekly after-school radio club, has used the system to raise money for charity and has held a school-wide competition to name their radio station. Liverpool's Radio City visited the school in June to officially launch their radio system, which is called Parklands Pirate Radio. The radio solution broadcasts high-quality digital audio to 15 classrooms and communal areas throughout the school. In each area, teachers are able to control the volume of the broadcast and can turn speakers off if necessary. The studio equipment enables children to incorporate CDs, MP3s, computer audio files and even streaming internet audio content into their live or pre-recorded broadcasts. All pupil broadcasts are stored on the school's network and can be played back at any time. And you're here with Rocky Ryan, Gracie Connor, and Jumping Jack Flash on Parkland's Primary Radio. And it's November the 24th today, and it's a very special day for someone. It's Ben Hughes. Clap for Ben Hughes, please. Woo! And you're six today. A very special day for you. Uh, I think um, Casey will be um, really annoyed. Casey is the um, sister of Ben. And there's been terrible news, really terrible news, hasn't there, Connor? Yeah. In in Cumbria, um, there's been a um, big, massive flood. It's knocking down schools and bridges, and it, it's killing people as well. What do you think about that, Jack? I'm very sorry for them, and I just, I just don't want to say anything else. It's ridiculous. Too emotional. I think Connor's got um, a story about something about that. Yeah, it was on the news. All right, there's like the, there was this policeman. He was like, he was very brave, and he was on this bridge because it was, it was going to get knocked out. And then he was directing all the cars off it. But you see, as soon as when he was knocking, uh, when he was guiding the cars off it, he the bridge collapsed under him and he died. Well, it's a very really sad thing, and then um, that's why we're going to play this song for you now. Um, it's Earth Song by Michael Jackson. Well, that's all we've got time for now. You've been listening to Rocky Ryan, Crazy Connor, and Jumping Jack Flash. Uh, having a radio system in school has benefited our pupils um, in a number of ways. Uh, teamwork, uh, because they've got to work collaboratively when they're using the equipment, the decks, you know, they, everybody's got their own assigned job uh, and they've got to watch each other, listen to each other, so that's obviously been a benefit. Uh, also, We've had a focus in this school for many, many years on speaking and listening. And, of course, having a radio station has improved the children's listening skills, their communication, particularly their public speaking, um, which in the past has been quite, um, has been quite poor, to be honest here. Uh, children speaking in assembly in very, very muted tones. Uh, so it's been great for that. Another thing is that we're constantly, we strive constantly to boost the children's self-esteem, and I think you know appearing on here and being the dj has really worked wonders for some of the pupils the school as a whole has benefited from the radio station by uh, involvement of the community of the parents because uh, one of the things that we do is that we um, upload sound clips from the radio shows to the website um, and Lots of the children access the website at home, their parents access the website and we'll be moving very shortly to uh, a learning platform so we should be able to use that even more in the future. Also, um, the other thing with the school as a whole is that we're moving towards a creative curriculum uh, in the light of the Rose Report and ICT of course is embedded as to be embedded across the entire curriculum. I'm the ICT coordinator and I'm just busy writing a new policy at the moment and it's been amazing how much um, the, this system has featured already in what we're putting in the new policy. 
Introducing a radio system into a primary school environment, um, I have to admit, I had reservations about because although the kit was great, uh, the training was comprehensive, only took about an hour or so, uh, the equipment's easy to use. I did worry that um, that we wouldn't be able to get enough usage out of it, that it would be perhaps uh, too uh, dependent on man hours, that we might be, uh, be struggle to squeeze it in amongst other areas of, of, the, of the curriculum. But what's happened is incredible. I thought we were going to have to do lots of podcasting which would be uh, very heavy on time for very little output but what's happened is that the children's confidence in using it has been it has been amazing so what's so what's actually happened is that they're broadcasting live daily morning and evening this is the year six pupils um, we've also got a sort of top-down training and a bottom-up training going on at the same time our year six pupils can all use the radio station, so it's filtering down. And our foundation and key stage one pupils are all using elements of the radio station or similar things on other computers, which is preparing them to be able to use it sooner rather than later. So, you know, fantastic. If there's one thing that I'd say about having this radio system installed, it would be that never underestimate what children can, can achieve with a piece of technology.